Hi, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a spider and I've already started the spider web. So I tested a few of the rhinestones and I put them on with this duo eyelash glue. I also have this NYX Sparkles and it's kind of similar to this glue. I can do the black or I can do the white or this iridescent pink. Um, just looking at it, I kind of like the clear. So I'm going to take these off and redo them glitter around the web right now. Let's get ready to do the spider. The spider actually is the hardest part, but once you get your legs drawn in and then you can highlight the 3D effect of that looks amazing. I'm going to prime this eye. I like to use my fingers. Using this black. Oh, I forgot how pigmented this black is. I took this brush just to line the my eyelid right here. I'll take this brush to line the bottom as well. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing the steps backwards, but it's whatever works best for me and in my brain and how I want to create it. So I kind of go out of order sometimes. So it ended up being this darker color here. It's pretty. Get the desired color. I will start blending. Wow. The other side of the brush. Blend in the harsh lines. This is a really good brush. I'm trying to find two different brushes. This is all in one. And let's see who it's by because I want to get more. Um, Naked. It's by Naked. So I'm liking that look. Since it's so dark, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more. A little higher. And then we'll start blending. What a difference. I'm liking this look. Should I go out like this? So as I have said, I'm not a makeup artist, a professional makeup artist. I just do looks that I like and everything's kind of like a trial and error for me. And then when I find something that I like, that's the look that I want to do every day. Blend again. Everything's blending with makeup. And once I do the legs, I will put on the eyelashes. Let's just finish the spider and then we'll see if we need to add anything to the web. So playing with this palette, I actually added this color right in the middle and blended that. So I'm just following a tutorial right now and they put more on the lid. So then we're gonna pack on this black. I'll have to remember that just to layer the primer on top of colors so it just makes it darker. Okay, stressing out about making the legs because I don't want to take off my makeup because I messed up. So try it with a couple of pencils, makeup wipes. Okay, let's go. So I just roughly sketched it. I am gonna redo it. This is what happens. So trial and error, here we go. Redo.
Shadow looks good there. I was really scared this wasn't going to turn out, but it's getting there. And the best part I love about this is the shadowing, just to see the final result that, hey, my spider is turning out. This kind of looks dull to me compared to this now, so i got to figure out what I want to do with this side. Okay, let's continue. I got the hiccups. Bear with me. I feel like I need to do a few more cleanups, so let's move on. A little anal. You know, I could spend hours and hours on this shading, but I need to move on, so you get the gist. Scary spider with its cubs. I kind of wish now I wouldn't have done so much glitter here because I really liked my cobweb. Hmm, what can I do? Let's just put on the lashes, uh, do a black liner on this eye, and uh, let's see what we need to add or delete. Using the same charcoal glitter black. That I absolutely love. It's just so good. Done. Normally that would take me a while. Okay, let's do the lid, eyelid. my contacts in, so let's hope nothing falls in my contacts. So pretty. I think I'm going to do a black lip as well. Let's put on the lashes. See those? No. Duo. And I'm going to line my eyes and the eyelashes. I'll be right back. They're so long. They're itching my, <clears throat> my eyelid. Wow, these were it, guys. For this look, these are the lashes for sure. Now that spider is standing out. Let's put on the other one. I have a project that I'm going to be using these little baby spiders. And so I thought how cute would it be if I just put some here? And I'm going to put some glue on them, but they're sticking just by themselves. So then that kind of makes the look. So I'm going to glue that on. Duo is the best glue. For eyelashes for rhinestones and spiders, plastic spiders. So that looks actually really good. When you wear your false eyelashes for three or four different looks, these are good eyelashes. So I think I'm at the end of my rope with these eyelashes. So I'm going to cut them up and see if I can use them for my bottom lashes. So that is the look. I think that actually makes it look a lot better. A lot fuller. Because it was just the top and now it's on the bottom. I'm going to do the other eye now. Yeah, I had two false eyelashes on the counter. And I cut this one up to put this one on and I was going to do the other side. Nowhere on my counter, not on the floor. And can I tell you, this is the second day. Yesterday, I did the same thing. I had some false eyelashes I was going to put on, could not find the other one. The spider feels like it's falling off. But anyways, I did because it looks really good here. It's nice and full for the spider look. And this is more like the glam, so you want it simple. So... 
This is the look, guys. What do you think? So I'm going to add some spiders in my hair. Let's see what that looks like. So here's the finished look. I put the spiders in my hair. They kind of look real, kind of scary. I dropped them on the floor, so I got to pick them up because I'm pretty sure I'll think it's a spider and scream, or my daughter will, so, or my dog will play with it or eat it. I don't know. I got to pick it up. So here is the look. I'm actually happy with it. It took a long time. I was stressing out about doing the spider legs and I actually had to redo it two or three times. It's it's kind of hard to get those legs with the eye not being flat. So it was hard to draw with the eyeliners that I had, but I am happy with the look. Once again, in the end, it does turn out so have faith in your art. Have faith in your face painting. Have faith in drawing those curved lines, shadowing. Oh, I forgot I was going to do black lipstick. Hold on. So I will line my lips. My daughter has a black lipstick, so she's going to go get it for me. So here we go. Let's fill it in with our, it's called motion. It is an amazing look. Subscribe to my channel, like this video if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you would like to see next. Here's my spooky spider Halloween look. Thanks for watching. Guys, guess what I found? It was literally in my hair, like down here. So I wouldn't know to look there, but here he is. Here he, here he is. <laughs> found it. Yay. Now, what am I going to do with it? Because the look is over. I like this look without the other lashes on the bottom because the spider was supposed to be the fullest look. So this is more glam. So it turned out. Bye. Bye, guys.